Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Mercurial Superfly 4 in the special edition camo pack colorway. Now as you guys can see, it does come in a special camo box that actually matches the shoes, and it also has chrome mercurial branding going down the lid and then the side of the box as well, which is kind of a cool little detail. Remove the lid and on the inside, they do of course include a string bag to go along with the shoes. The string bag also has the matching camo pattern, Black strings, you have reflective mercurial branding on the front, as well as a reflective Nike swoosh. And then the back of the bag, as you guys can see, solid black with reflective Nike football branding. Other than that, all you're gonna find inside the box are of course the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at what is definitely one of the more unique Superfly 4 colorways that we've seen so far, the brand new camo pack now this is a special edition release so instead of the usual 275 dollars retail this shoe does retail for 300 dollars, so it's a 25 dollars premium like we've seen from the cr7 colorways uh, but again you're definitely getting something pretty special with the packaging and the final product so in today's video we are of course going to take a closer look at the shoes themselves we're going to uh, talk performance, tech specs, take a look at the way of the shoe, as well as talk about how these things fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around and watch the entire video. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. We will be able to pick these guys up below their normal $300 retail. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's take a closer look at the colorway. Now, this is a shoe that based on the responses that I've seen, a lot of people seem to have kind of mixed feelings on this whole camo pack in general. And I am somebody who really, really likes these. Camo, for me, it looks cool on pretty much anything. And uh, I'm normally somebody who tends to prefer more simple colorways, more low profile colorways. Blackouts to me, always very, very cool. But if I am gonna wear something more flashy, and that's not to say that this is a particularly flashy colorway, I really think the idea of doing a camo shoe just is super cool. So for me, I'm a big fan of these, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And of course, every shoe in the pack does have a different camo pattern with different colors as well. So for the Superfly, as you guys can see, you have a camo pattern that consists of uh, two shades of green, black, as well as kind of like a dark burgundy color. Um, it's majority this kind of olive green base, as you guys can see, which again, kind of gives it that classic camo vibe. And you get the darker green, the little bit of burgundy, I guess, is something that's slightly different in comparison to just a more traditional camo in general. And then of course, all the exposed fly knit, as you guys can see, is solid black in color. So the camo pattern is actually the Nike skin top layer covering the fly knit upper. You're gonna find that you have a black on black Nike swoosh at the front and back, but the middle part that you can see is almost like a dark, dark gray is reflective. So that's a very cool little detail that you don't really see in the online pictures. You got a reflective swoosh right here on the back and actually the mercurial branding going down the back of the collar is also reflective. Um, the, the bottom, as you guys can see, is pretty much just pure black carbon fiber with fully clear studs, and you have a Nike swoosh right there in the middle as well and kind of like a dark gray. It almost looks like it's reflective. I'm not sure that it is. It's really difficult to tell just because of how shiny the sole plate is in the first place. So overall, really cool looking colorway, very simple. It's pretty much just a camo pattern on all the Nike skin areas, but for me, I really, really like how these look. Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech spec so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. Performance wise, the Superfly 4 is very well proven at this point. Now, if you guys do want as many details as possible, we're gonna go over basic tech specs in this video, but I would strongly recommend checking out my play test video on the Superfly 4, as well as my traction test video, both of which I'll leave annotations to on screen. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. Now, Superfly 4, it of course does feature a fly knit upper, which is thin. It's, it's a mercurial at the end of the day, so it's gonna offer more of a barefoot feel. It's not quite as thin as what you can get from the Vapor 10, but at the same time, it's still very thin. It just has a slightly cushion sensation just due to the nature of the knitted material that the upper is actually made out of. It's soft, it's flexible, it really does offer that sock-like sensation on your feet. 
especially once they're broken in. They can feel a little bit stiff at first, but it breaks in quite quickly. The biggest thing when it comes to the break-in process that's gonna give some people issues is the heel area, something we'll talk about a little bit more during the on-feet portion of the video. Now, the upper is finished off with a Nike skin top layer. This is just gonna give it a not so slick finish. Not to say that this is a grippy upper at all, uh, but it just doesn't feel slick on the ball either. It's kind of like an in-between type thing. And then as far as the actual flyknit upper is concerned, it's reinforced in two different ways. You have an internal support layer um, that you can definitely feel when you slide the shoe on. It does add stiffness to what would otherwise be a pretty flimsy um, kind of flying it upper that would almost collapse on itself. And then of course they also incorporate Brio cables that run from the base of the sole into the lacing system. Now this cable system, when you do pull the laces tight, it pulls on these cables and really does a good job of grabbing your foot, locking it in place. It works with those internal support systems as well. So despite the upper being very soft, very flexible and almost sock-like on your foot, when you make those quick cuts and change of direction and just put general stress on the upper, it's not moving around on you, it's maintaining its shape and the shoe offers a very, very responsive feel, um, which again, is kind of unusual given the softness of the actual upper. Now, laces run through the middle, as you guys can see, the exposed fly knit through the middle of the shoe as well as the collar is elasticated. So unlike the Nike skin areas, it does have that stretchiness to it. The collar itself is something a lot of people view as some kind of a performance benefit. It's something different, of course, uh, but that's really all it does. It's just something different. It's a little bit of a difference in look and it does change the way the shoe fits and feels in the heel ankle area. Uh, but other than that, there is no performance benefit. There's not really any extra protection here other than just an extra layer of material. There's no ankle support. There's no rigidity to this. It's not gonna restrict mobility in any way either. It's just something that you'll notice at first, but honestly, once you get used to them, you stop noticing it altogether. You have an internal plastic heel counter. The inside does have a heel liner as well. It's a smooth synthetic leather material. Insole fully removable with this colorway. It does of course have the matching camo color, which is kind of cool, um, but it's still a mesh liner on top, perforations throughout, and a single layer of this gray foam. Nothing too fancy, but it does get the job done on this particular shoe. Then of course you do get the carbon fiber sole plate that again, looks very cool isn't necessarily that different from anything else out there. Um, it's thin, it's flexible in the right places, rigid through the midfoot and heel as you would want as well. And again, it feels really good. There's really nothing to complain about there. And then of course you do get the current mercurial stud pattern that also is very, very good. Extremely aggressive multi-directional traction on firm natural grass, um, which is kind of what the mercurial series is known for at this point. Tight fit, responsive shoe, really, really good traction. You get all of those things from the Superfly 4. So really, if what I described sounds good to you or sounds interesting, the Superfly 4 is one of those shoes that you may want to consider. In terms of weight, the Superfly 4 is pretty light as you would expect. So I'm gonna actually weigh this pair for you today in real time using this scale, just so we can see what the exact weight is. Keep in mind, this is a brand new pair in a size nine US. We're gonna throw them on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 7.3 ounces the equivalent of 206 grams. So the Superfly 4 in a 9 US, it's gonna be right around seven to 7.3 ounces or so, um, which again is gonna offer that nice lightweight feel both in hand as well as on feet. It's not the lightest shoe money can buy by any means. In fact, if you do want a lighter shoe from Nike in the Mercurial line, the Vapor 10 is about a full ounce lighter, but still, because it is a tighter fitting shoe, because it locks your foot in place so nicely and because it is so responsive, the shoes feel a lot lighter than they actually are. So in general, if you're looking for a thin, lightweight feel from your shoes, you definitely will get that from the Superfly 4. All right, so here is a look at the Camo Pack Superflies on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock black laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of green camo SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. Find a direct link to that website down below in the description of this video. Now, in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, Superfly 4 is a very comfortable shoe once it's broken in. The one issue that a lot of people have, like I mentioned earlier in the video, is the heel. And this is the case with any of the mid-cut models from Nike, be it the Magista Obra, as well as the, the, the Phantom 2. Um, and it just has to do with the actual design. Because of the mid-cut, uh, you will find that the heel feels a little bit stiffer, it puts a lot of pressure on your foot. Um, it's something that can be a little bit uncomfortable for some people, especially at first. But as long as you take the break-in process very slowly, uh, you don't wear them straight into a game or straight into a free kick session, after 
let's say four or five hours of taking things easy, I think for most people, they will start to feel pretty much 100% comfortable for you. The rest of the shoe actually fits really well though. Um, it's got a tighter fit overall, as you would expect from the Mercurial line. The fly knit upper is nice and thin, and it does have really good flexibility, especially in the toe and forefoot area. And it just gets softer in general as you wear them in. So for the most part, the shoe fits extremely well. It's just a matter of breaking them in slowly to avoid any kind of discomfort and blistering, because you don't have to have that issue as long as you break them in, like I said, nice and slow. As far as width is concerned, it's a Mercurial. It does have that tighter fit. And because of the Brio cables and just the nature of the fly knit upper the shoe doesn't really stretch for the most part the way they fit from out of the box is how they're going to fit for the entire lifespan uh, so again if they feel a little bit too tight from brand new maybe not the best option for you and if you have wider feet in general the mercurial line is probably not for you as far as sizing is concerned i'm wearing my usual size 9 us here and the fit and length is absolutely perfect so if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right guys, that's it for my review of the Camo Pack Nike Mercurial Superfly 4. If you guys are interested in more info, be sure to check out the review page on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, you'll find a detailed written review. You'll find the high quality images of this exact pair that I took myself. That'll give you a better idea as to how they actually look in person. And of course, you'll also find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR for you coupon codes, we'll be able to pick these up below their normal $300 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions at all regarding the Superfly 4, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.